Why you focus on you and not on me? Because if you focus on me, I focus on you automatically. You're so mean. You want to be focused and you don't care about the other people. <laughs> you can be... Uh, you don't care if I'm blurry. Uh, blurry in the background. So guys, it is time for a new video and just like it says, it's time to declutter my closet. And yes, I did an organization video in the beginning of this month. But after some days of looking at my closet, I also thought like, really? You have five mom jeans that almost looks the same and I have so many, I don't know, I just, there were many pieces that I don't love and that I don't use and uh, I just feel like I need to do a decluttering video as well. So here we are and I'm gonna give you some advice and how I think while I do it. So I'm not gonna do a super long intro now, but I want to tell you one thing really fast because I don't think that some of you knows this, but uh, when I was 12, it was the first time I opened the book of Feng Shui in my auntie's home and I was totally hooked on it. If you don't know what Feng is. I'm gonna link a link in the description box that where you can read about it because it's really really interesting and I am if I can explain it really fast it's about how to balance energy in a home color psychology it's a little bit of everything when I turned 21 I actually went to the Nordic school of Feng Shui and I learned so much and one of the topics is actually or one of the topics I don't remember if it was topic but I remember that we learned a lot about decluttering your home so I've always been pretty good in it in like my natural way I always always had very little things in my room, in my childhood and teenage room and uh, I, know, I just kind of like the feeling of not having many things. When I have opened my closets lately I have not been really pleased so I will be decluttering today and of course I will be donating, I always donate that as well, we always donate a lot of clothes but today I'm also going to pick out a lot of expensive stuff so I will be selling it on a page, I will also link that in the description box. So as I said while decluttering I will also give you some tips and I'm just gonna take I have prepared with a chair here because I have to reach but I'm also gonna bring my what's called hanger rack maybe it's called clothing rack I'm gonna put it here as well so that yeah I, I don't want to throw the jackets and this on the bed but uh, it's gonna take a while this so I hope that you will enjoy this video let's start so I will be leaving this one. I don't want to put all the jackets that I have been wearing like outside on the bed. We just changed the sheets. So let's start taking out my dark jackets and I am just gonna hang in my absolute favorite. It's also some blazers and blazers is actually something I really, really use under every jacket and they are like my kind of jackets during spring and summer. So blazers are something I absolutely have noticed, at least in my own style, that it's something I use a lot. So I will not be taking out my blazers but let's declutter some jackets. This one has been my favorite this winter. Gerard loves it. No, he doesn't. But it's actually like wearing a blanket over you and it has saved so many cold evenings in London. So it's still gonna be with me. And when I go to Sweden, this is perfect. It's always so cold there. This one is new from Mango. I showed you in my haul. I have been using it almost every day since I got it. So a big keeper. And these ones are, you know, I love this kind of Scandinavian classical style. So this one is perfect. I love this one, it's a fake fur, but I honestly haven't been using it, so I think I'm gonna say bye bye to this one. This one as well is going, this one is actually so, so nice. I really honestly like this one, but I tend to like some other jackets more, so this one has to go as well. Then we have this one that I am not really sure about. When you're not really sure about one piece, my best advice is the classical advice, is to not hang in your jacket like this, but change this one just to the other side, like this, and hang it in this way. If you have seen that it has not changed after one month, maybe it's time to get rid of it. As I told you, I'm not really sure about this one, so I will be keeping it, but I will hang it in in, in that way. And then we have the blazer. These ones I use. So it's time to take out my beige and more colorful jackets. So I have taken out these beige and colorful jackets and it's time to declutter for real. You know that my style is pretty Scandinavian and what I like with Scandinavian minimalistic style is that it's more useful when you can match it with many things, that you don't have to have that many pieces to be able to match and uh, this doesn't look really Scandinavian to me so it's time to get back to my roots. And also don't get me wrong when I say that I like the Scandinavian minimalistic white 
black jeans kind of style. There's absolutely no problem if you like to wear a bit color. I think that it's so nice when people wear colors as well. But from my perspective and from what I think, I really think that the Scandinavian minimalistic style, it's very easy to match in between pieces. For example, my mom jeans that I'm wearing now. These are very easy to match with a black jacket, with the beige, with the cardigan I'm wearing now, with the white t-shirt. You know, you can wear it in so many ways. And this year I will also be showing you some more advices of how to wear one piece in many different ways and I will try to do this video every month so I'm really excited for that sorry I always get into different kind of patterns but anyway let's declutter this so I have chosen my favorites and as you see there's many jackets left so honestly I really think that some of the jackets are very very nice I just don't feel like I use them enough for them to be in my closet and all these ones are going I'm gonna show you a lot all these jackets and all these ones are going so I have decluttered a lot and I've left a few pieces left in the closet and I really want to share this with you before continuing this year I have a huge goal of instead of showing you party clothes and things that you cannot wear I want to be able to show you instead of how to wear maybe this cardigan in five ways maybe a pair of the moccasins I showed you in the manga hall maybe how to wear those in five different ways I want to be able I want to show you more how to wear a more minimalistic Scandinavian style just because I feel like that represents also more me and that I think that I at least I'm pretty good in so I want to inspire you more with that kind of look instead of showing you maybe a party top that you maybe just gonna use one time or, or two times so yeah that's one of my goals this year as well and yeah, these jackets, I hope that someone at least is gonna be happy with them. They're really nice, some of these jackets. I really like them. I just don't feel like I have used them enough for them to be in my closet. I want to have more like statement pieces and more pieces that I use over and over and over again. I was checking at my Instagram and these are the jackets I use the most. And I was also checking my personal pictures. These are the jackets I use the most. Another goal I have this year is to not buy too much clothes as well. If I buy something, I really want to think like, do I need this? jacket and now it's time to do the part where I have my blouses and shirts and also some cardigans here as well. I have taken out some of my knits and I've taken out some that are really really nice. Actually really really nice. Not some of you get annoyed when I say that but this one for example how cute is this? But I just don't use it enough. I feel like someone else, this is from Bash and I feel like the quality is so nice and someone else would be so much more happier having this. It's too nice to be just in a closet. And then this one is from Anthropology. So, so cute as well. I really like it, but I don't use it. I have a few nice things here, so. Time to declutter even more. So much things are out. And so many things that I honestly think are so pretty. It's just, I'm not using it enough. So second hand it is. How cool this one is, amazing. But I have not used it. I'm not using it. It's so cute, but it's just not really my style. So difficult sometimes to say goodbye to stuff, but I know that one of you are gonna wear this one like a queen. It's just not for me. One of my other tips I would say is to look if you have two things very similar like do you really need two of them or is it enough to just keep the one you actually really use more so that's also one of my my things that i always always go for like do i really need two black blazers i used to have one blazer from Zara and one blazer from bash and i ended up always choosing the blazer from bash so finally i got rid of i gave the blazer from Zara to a friend so that's one of the things that you can always think about if you have two similar things which one do you go for you don't need to have two but i want to say also that for example with gym clothes i wouldn't say that you should go too extreme like that you only should have one pair of tights and one pair of bra because for example when you go to the gym that's something that you change a lot and I would also say that for me at least it's been really difficult to find gym tights for the gym that lasts for a long time so in that case I really think that it's maybe for me at least it works to have three four pairs that I switch between during the week and also bras and tops and this so for example if you are a person that you wear a blazer every day to work a black blazer maybe it's okay for you to have two but for example me I don't need it so I chose my favorite yeah I hope that you also like this kind of that I, you don't think that I'm talking too much in this video but I also want to share with you how I think and uh, yeah wait go more to the side <laughs> So yeah, now it is time to go through the drawers and I think I will place you guys a bit closer. All 
some of these ones are leaving my drawer. It's gonna feel good because honestly I have, as you see in the chair, these are the ones I use every day. It's actually two different bags, maybe think that I've kept two different bags, but it's one that is very like tight and one that is more loose. So, and black jeans is something I use every day, so. And then we have these ones that I don't like as much. Bye bye! These ones I really like, I bought them from Massimo Dutti But I used them like two times and they already have all these threads But I'm gonna cut them But otherwise I really like them but they were so expensive It's sad So the Sabe is helping me to be cutter Hello You haven't said hi in my vlog yet Yeah but you went to the college <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, Dad is helping me to declutter and uh, yeah, next time we're going to do your clutter, which is already minimalistic but Mine is already decluttered, so <laughs> So last month you actually checked out some um, charities some, Yeah, some charities where to give your clothes up The clothes you have home were to give it in London Because in Barcelona you have like boxes in the street, like containers <laughs> So what I did is was checking online and there's some charities that they come to your home and they collect the clothes mm. And then you can decide where does all the money from the clothes go goes you can destiny in the charity that you prefer you can select it yeah so we did that two weeks ago actually mm. and it worked really well like mm. two days after i did it online they came and they collected mm. on time and it was perfect they gave us this this is the one we use i collect clothes and if anyone has any better tip to give us let us know in the comment field because yeah. we haven't lived here for a long time i mean so. we have used this one that is i collect yeah. clothes once two weeks ago and it worked really well i think this time we're gonna do it with the same one yeah but if anyone has a better idea or if you do it in a different way here in mm. London, let us know. And I also want to say it really quick that this is not a collaboration. We honestly were just really happy with it and it worked really fine. I have this drawer left and it's a drawer I use a lot. The good thing with this one is that it's quite basic colors, but let's see if there's something that is very similar. Let's take that out. I've already taken out two here that I use the most. I need a coffee, please. Please. With a bit of oat milk. I'm gonna show my followers that you don't that you don't serve the queen. I have to try which one fits me the best. These ones fit me way better. These ones from Mango. And they're so much more comfortable. And I like that they have the zip instead of a lot of buttons, like the one from Sarah. So I'm keeping these ones. And these ones as well, I am keeping away. The tops, all of these are like, it is actually pyjama as well here. And some party tops. And then my everyday shirts as well. And here is also the pants that I use. And then we have the jeans. This is how I want it to be. So I'm done with the closet and the, the drawers and now it's time to go through this shelf it's basically all my bags and my boots and i don't use all of this so i'm gonna take out the things that i don't use and i'm gonna add it to my depot and i also want to let you know that i told you before but i'm not really sure when i'm gonna add these things on depop just because we're going to barcelona so you can follow me there and then you can stay tuned for when i put up these things but it's time to choose some of the bags we also have my sunglasses and sunglasses is something that i use every single day almost even when it's cloudy. I use all of these ones minus these two that I took away. So yeah, all of them will stay with me. These are like more for my casual looks when I want to be a bit more fashion. I know, I use them. It is finished in this part of the closet. I've kept jackets I use more or less every day, but it's also my blazers for the spring. So it's not only winter jackets, it's spring and winter. And down here I have kept my absolute favorite shoes that I use on a regular basis. And then we have this part as well. These ones I have kept a bit more because I, uh, I have checked my photos and I use them so much so these ones has to stay. And then we have these jackets that I also use. It's actually blazers and jackets. Here's everything from summer, spring and winter. And this one, as I told you, I will see if I'm gonna use it or not. I have hanged it on the other side so if this one is not changed this month it will go to charity as well. And here's just my gym shoes and some yeah normal shoes that I use in a daily basis. So yeah, pretty empty. Then I was like, what are you gonna do with all this space? But he is gonna get one of these closets. So before ending this video, I want to say something really fast. Oh, I'm sitting a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> when I started getting followers on Instagram, I was in university. I did not have much money and I was kind of living on my savings that I was when I was working as a kindergarten teacher in Sweden. And those savings were supposed to go to food and rent every 
every month and also school stuff like books and this but I still wanted to do this Instagram thing because I really enjoyed it and I as you know I love fashion and I love to combine different clothes in this so when I used to go to for example H&M I would not go out from H&M without feeling like this piece I can match it with this skirt these jeans you know I could match that shirt with so many things that I had home already and I kind of want to go back to that mindset because that's the best way of playing with clothes for example if I would sh I, and I want to start doing these kind of videos for you for example how to match this cardigan in five different ways maybe not this cardigan but for example this pair of jeans in five different ways I want to kind of go back to my old mindset and start doing that because I I don't know it's what feels right and it feels way more me to do that I am born and raised in Sweden so I've always been like grown up with this minimalistic Scandinavian style and I know it's what represents me more I want to do that so I hope that you will want to watch these videos thumbs up if you like this video and also if you want to see another decluttering video but when we do Gerard's closet so thumbs up I will see you in my next video bye